If the rest of this century is to witness the gradual growth of freedom and democratic ideals, we must take actions to assist the campaign for democracy. We must be staunch in our conviction that freedom is not the sole prerogative of a lucky few, but the inalienable and universal right of all human beings. The objective I propose is quite simple to state, to foster the infrastructure of democracy, the system of a free press, unions. Last year in London, I spoke of the need and obligation to assist democratic development. And my hope then was that America would make clear to those who cherish democracy throughout the world that we mean what we say. Well, the hope is now a reality. The National Endowment for Democracy, a private, non-profit corporation funded by the Congress, will be the centerpiece of this effort. I just get charged up when I see these people and I just realize, you know, how fortunate we are to be in a position where we can help them. I mean, I try to explain this to people all the time. I, I really do believe, believe this deeply, that the net is a kind of a miracle. The things that a lot of Americans take for granted are luxury to us. And for individuals who fight on a daily basis for those luxury, NED is a lifeblood. The NED is a private but publicly supported grant-making institution that provides a comprehensive support system for people around the world who are struggling for freedom and trying to build societies that are democratic and based on the rule of law. NED is seen as, as the gold standard of, of an organization that just stays true to, to the genesis of the idea that Reagan outlined at Westminster 35 years ago. We still believe that as a nation we should be committed to helping democratic development around the world. 30 years of effectively promoting democracy honoring the dignity and worth of every person. And I've seen firsthand across the world uh, the effects of Ned's leadership and activism for a world where people are free. And this is uh, an element of what I see uh, all the time that gives me a great sense of pride not just as someone uh, associated with the National Endowment for Democracy, but as an American citizen and an American taxpayer, that our tax dollars, a small, small, tiny, tiny proportion of them, are going to support people who are working often so courageously, so selflessly, so innovatively, and so consequentially in terms of making history to bring about democratic change and uh, expand freedom in the world. NED has played an, an amazing role supporting us from the very beginning, pushing uh, our, helping us to push our projects on emerging leaders and how to translate what the, the innovations that we see in the civil society, how we can make an impact in politics in the region. We are at a the, at the crucial moment in our history in which democracy, as we know, it might disappear if we not defend it and if we not improve it. We don't believe that we here in Washington can shape their future. They shape their own future. Our job is to help them realize that future, to empower them to do so. I specifically work in the Visegrad in Slovakia, the Czech Republic, uh, Hungary and Poland. And we have had, thanks to net involvement, the ability to actually bring global shapers, movers from the region together to talk about issues important for democracy. So many of the people that we support face risk. I mean, they could be killed and when they are attacked, they go back and they work. Sometimes if you live in a successful, affluent, democratic society, you become complacent. You forget how valuable, how precious these, these values are. There's a lot of reasons, I think, for Americans to promote democracy. I think in general, because democracies tend not to fight each other, they have common values, they tend to work together better. People are just not giving up. And we have to remember that, and we have to know that, you know, we have an obligation. 
you know, we have a moral obligation as Americans. We're really providing support for people to, to fulfill their own hopes and ambitions. That's what we're for. And the NED offers a way to do all of that together. Well, the task I've set forth will long outlive our own generation. But together, we too have come through the worst. Let us now begin a major effort to secure the best, a crusade for freedom that will engage the faith and fortitude of the next generation. For the sake of peace and justice, let us move toward a world in which all people are at last free to determine their own destiny. Thank you.